Hello everybody. I am about to hopefully to get my first shot for the COVID-19 when I did some research and whatnot at my place where I go to uh, you can walk in or schedule an appointment so I'm going to give it a try to just walk in to set up one and then if, if I can't then I'm going to send a, set it, an appointment up so if I can't just walk in um, so I think it just depends on when they're able to and whatnot. so I'm going to try give it a try to get the first shot in today so, and I'm going to be taking you guys with me. is gonna take a little while I am gonna chit chat with you guys in the meantime and something serious happened on the end of May right when I was about to talk to you guys about something serious I got a green light on gray but okay I'm going to talk to you guys about something serious, and if I seem a little distracted, it's because I am driving, driving, and, you know, talking to you guys at the same time. So, uh, on May 22nd, so the middle to the end of May, I trigger warning. This might be too much information, it might be too graphic maybe maybe not for some people so that right now is a warning and whatnot so if you're a trigger easily triggered or easily get uncomfortable maybe skip over this little part or watch something different or whatnot but um, on May 22nd at night um, I got sexually assaulted slash molested slash rape depending on how you wanna word it and whatnot and since then all the way up to now I've my mental health and whatnot has been a roller coaster um, I am seeing a counselor about it um, I was gonna give you guys more in, in detail and more information what happened that night but if you guys want a different video or vlog of me sit down and talking about it I will but um, I've I am going to counseling for it it's the same counselor I've been going to for years and she's helping me to go to like extra um, counseling for to talk about it even more and whatnot 
and kind of like support groups kind of thing and whatnot. Um, so instead of going every two weeks, I've been going weekly and whatnot. And um, I did report it a couple days after it happened. So it happened on Saturday, May 22nd. And I reported it on Monday, the 24th of May. So, I've thought about it to take a lie detector test polygraph thing. Recently, I had a few people say, like, that's a good idea, or you should encourage me to do it. So, I'm back and forth on doing so. So, I might do that. I might not have not decided, but I'm just trying to stay positive with everything, especially um, a few days after that happened, I was driving a few hours away to see my sister to get out of um, the town and my hometown here and to leave a few, you know, for a few days and on the way there and on the, the way back. I got into two different car accidents, and the first one, I practically went into a swamp, and then the second one, I got into another car accident on the way home, and my car, the car that I'm driving right now, this car spin over a few times, rolled over and whatnot, so... Yeah, and I was distracted a little bit from stuff and mostly from what happened on the 22nd of May. So, yeah. So, that's kind of my highlight within the last, my actual last vlog that I've done. So, So, right now I'm going to, sorry, I am going to go into the Target and go to my, the pharmacy section and to hopefully get my first vaccine and I'm going to have you guys to come with me. All right. So here's a little bit more information about the vaccine and the common side effects. Here's a little sheet that tells you how to schedule a second one. Okay. Um, and then any side effects, you could report them to the V-Safe. You just scan that QR code and you could do that. And just a little bit of information and background about the Moderna vaccine you're getting today. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, and then here's your CDC card. Can you confirm your, your first and last name and date of birth is correct? It's correct, yes. Perfect. perfect. I'm going to get you a $5 coupon. By the way, not at all. Well, I'm sure they'll be bored, so... Did you get a $5 coupon? Oh, that's Left arm okay? Yes. Okay. Are you taking a picture of it? No, oh, not okay. good. <laughs> Okay. 
gonna hang here or have you hang around for 15 minutes for observation. Okay. How does that feel? Good. <laughs> I need to um, get this a little bit better. You are good to go at 4.38. Okay. Perfect. So we'll see you in four weeks from today. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay, now I got to leave now after being there for about 15 minutes after getting the shot and I am feeling good so far no soreness or anything like that so that's a plus so yeah now in about three four ish weeks so month, roughly a month from today roughly I'll get the second dose. So, yeah. And regardless of what I told you before the shots and what shot, not shots, um, um, regardless of the car accidents and, um, the other thing, both of the, all of that happened, like, within the last two-ish weeks of... Um, May of this year that just happened so with the sexual assault rape mol molestation whatever you want to word it or name it um, that happened on the 22nd of May of this year and then the two car accidents happened like a few days after uh, uh, within three days so when I'm when I was on the way to see my sister and then on the way back and both of them have been stressful and overwhelming and hard <laughs> but I just want to say that you guys are not the only ones who are who's this who, eh. You guys are not the only one. If you have been in that situation, you guys are not the only one. And I'm always going to be there for you guys. I'm just driving and vlogging at the same time. And I just want to let you guys know that me, for me doing the vaccination, I just don't want you guys to feel like you guys have to do to, to, have to do it too um it's totally up your up to you guys um my family my parents and sister and my partner my man all of them have done it um so in part it was a mix between the a their job or b to having a lower risk of spreading it so and with me I just did it so I can spend time with more with family and be able to protect them and whatnot. Just like a gut feeling that I should. And I didn't do it just to make family practically happy. I do it I did it for me and just a good gut feeling. So yeah. Let me know in the comments if you have or you have not got the COVID vaccine and let me know like why you did or why you're, you didn't or you're not going to. So just let me know with that. I'm just curious on your guys' point of views. There's an absolutely no right or wrong answer. It's just a curiosity on what your guys' thoughts and whatnot, so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what you, you know who brings that to you every day. 
like a mantra, it's your area shortstops who are also saving you per gallon on gas. Get that Manny Shopper in the back of the Super 1 receipts coupon in your hand and stop by, saving you every day, doubling it up on Wednesdays, and bringing you the drive at 5 as well with One Republic right now. Well, right now I am heading home. I'm just going to practically hang out at home, hang out with my dog, and I'm just going to end the vlog here, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, subscribing, etc. And I'll see you in the new video. But vlog. Bye.